So Tom and Jerry came out on HBO Max, and it's another in a long line of live-action hybrids with cartoon characters. Though this one is sort of different in recent ones we've had, as this one uses 3D models but with a 2D aesthetic around the models. Tom and Jerry is one of my favorite classic cartoons up until like the Chuck Jones era, so I was interested to see what they would do with a live-action hybrid of Tom and Jerry. However, with the antics that Tom and Jerry usually get into, it's not really a fit for long-form content. So in order to fill out that time, they have a boring plot about a wedding that the human characters go through. I was expecting some plot with the humans that I just wouldn't care about, but man, it is boring and sometimes just really bad. Tom and Jerry almost feel like background characters at times. There are some instances where I'm actually pretty impressed with the animation and how it interacts with the environment. Like there's this one scene where Tom is chasing Jerry around in a hotel room and they're trashing the place and the way it interacts with uh, the physical environment it looks very impressive. But then there are other times where Tom and Jerry and some of the other um, uh, assets just kind of look kind of flat. Which is weird because recently some test footage came out that actually looks fantastic. It has a Tom and Jerry in La La Land in a little clip, and the animation there actually looks better than it does in the actual movie. So I just don't know what went wrong there. If the animation looked so smooth and good in that test footage, why doesn't it look quite as good in the movie? I'm not saying in the movie that it's bad or anything, because there are some sequences I do really like. But just after comparing it to that test footage, I'm like, why didn't the whole movie look like that? Maybe it's because the test footage uh, sort of has a lower quality to the image that we see of it, because it was like on a Twitter video, but um, in the movie it's, you know, HD, and I can see it in, like, the full quality. As far as Tom and Jerry themselves in the movie, I'm okay with them. There's some parts that are kind of weird, um, but overall I do like their antics. And some other characters from Tom and Jerry show up, like Butch and Spike. And one interesting thing that I kind of do appreciate about the film is that every single animal that you see is animated. Tom and Jerry are animated, other dogs and cats are animated, a spider on the wall, it's animated, butterflies are animated. Um, there's even a point where they go to a museum and they see, like, fossils and stuff, and the fossil skeleton of a dinosaur is animated. So in this world they created, every animal is a cartoon. Which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I'm just sad that the movie itself isn't as good as that concept. Because the Tom and Jerry antics that I did like in the movie are only about 25% of the movie. The rest of it is humans planning a wedding and a bunch of really weird song placements in the movie that feel really odd and out of place and feels like they're trying way too hard to be cool. I think if you're already a fan of Tom and Jerry, you might like some of this stuff, especially if you've been a fan of Tom and Jerry and you like some of the newer things from Tom and Jerry. I mean, I've ne never really liked too much of the modern stuff from Tom and Jerry, but this does call back to some of the classic stuff, especially with the screams that Tom uh, gives out in this movie. So there are some classic Tom screams. Speaking of which, not only this movie came out on HBO Max, but also a couple of new shorts, and it's from the same people that made the new Looney Tunes that are on HBO Max. And honestly, those two shorts are like way better than anything that's in the Tom and Jerry movie. It has a couple of classic setups where Tom is working at a sushi bar, and then another where Tom is building a cat tree, both of which Jerry messes with him, and there are also classic Tom screams there. So if you watch the movie, uh, watch those two shorts afterwards and compare them, because those two shorts I think are a lot more faithful to classic Tom and Jerry. It's sad because the movie itself I want to like more, but I just see a lot of missed potential. Especially with every animal being a cartoon concept, I thought that was really cool. And most of the Tom and Jerry antics I liked, but everything else is just a wash. I just don't think Tom and Jerry works that well as a full-length film. I think it just fits better as short-form content like we saw with those shorts that came out. So if you have seen the Tom and Jerry movie, tell me what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye!